Hi boys and girls and welcome back. We drew the biggest penguin on earth yesterday. Today we're going to be drawing the smallest bird and that is the hummingbird. Hummingbird comes from America and it gets its name from the humming sound that's created by the beating wings as it hovers in mid-air to catch insects and, and drink nectar from flowers. So we're going to have a look at, at him today. I'm drawing in a black pen today just so you can see nice and clearly on the paper that you can use your pencil so that you can make your corrections as you go and keep your razor until the end to, to rub out any mistakes that you made. I'm going to start uh, my, with the eye and my, my hummingbird, a small little bird with his wings coming up and we're also going to draw, leave some space to draw a flower to go with him. So in the middle of my page a little bit up, sort of two-thirds of the way up, I'm going to draw his eye. Just a small eye. I'm going to leave, I can colour it in, and I want to leave a little sparkle. I'm going to leave a space, and I'm going to put a little angled line, which is going to be his beak. Hummingbirds have very long, thin beaks, which they use to poke down flowers and things to suck the nectar, which they need because they use up so much energy in flapping those wings. All right, we're going to go over the top of his head. We're going to start with a gentle curve, coming up, over, and down. This one we want a beautiful, elegant little curve. He's a very, very dainty bird. I'm going to leave a space here and I'm going to go down his back. So I'm going to leave a space and I'm going to continue this line going down and it's going to go down towards the tail. If I imagine that this part is the tail, I'm going to put in some detail here which is just a curved line. I'm going to add his, the rest of his tail on down here. Alright, let's put his tummy on. I want, from this point, I want a nice rounded tummy that's going to join up to that line over there. There we go. Let's put his tail on. From the middle of this sort of V-shape at the end, we're going to start close together and then fan out and close it a bit and start close and fan out a bit and add on and start close and fan out and we're going to do the same on this side starting close in here next to that feather and fanning out gently and fanning out gently and I'm making a beautiful fan shape. Let me put one more one. Alright I'm gonna do his wings on the top of this line that we drew we're gonna make a gentle curve line that reaches up. And this wing is going to curve down. I'm going to put a dot here where I'm aiming for, and kind of halfway I'm going to I'm going to use little bumps. Halfway I'm going to put a marker just so I don't lose my way, and I'm just going to put some very, very gentle curve lines. My nice little bumps going up there to that one. I'm going to continue coming around. And I'm going to draw enough to where I put my marker. He's got another wing behind, which comes up behind his neck here. And it sort of comes to the same height as this other wing. It's a shorter line, but it comes to the same sort of height. And I'm going to do these bumps again, coming down gently. Right. I'm going to do some of these feather details. From this line, this eight, this corner where the bump is, I'm going to come down, 
going to follow the, this line of his wing. I'm not going to go away, I'm going to stop. And I'm going to join up these to the space here with some little feather details. Right, now I'm going to carry on. Starting where those bumps are, I'm going to fan in these lines. Gently curving in from each one. Hummingbirds, um, uh, some of the bigger hummingbirds, they beat their wings at about 12 times a second. The smaller ones, they can beat their wings more than 80 times a second. And that's just amazing. How great is God's creation? All right, so we have got some of my feather details. All right, I've got a few more details to add on him and then we're going to put on his um, dwarf flower. Right, he's got two little feet down here which he holds sort of tucked up underneath him as he's flying and we're going to draw them by drawing four little curved lines and then I can close them off to, and they end up making three little toes and another four. one, two, three, four. I've got them very close together. This is a small, teeny, tiny little bird. The smallest hummingbirds, they only weigh two grams. So you can just think about how tiny they are. Right, we're going to put some of these face details on. And a bit of a wiggly line around his neck. And then from the corner of his beak, there's a line that comes up to his eye. And then it goes on the other side of his eye and curves down on the back of his head. And I'm going to make that a double line just so that it's nice and clear. And this at the back is going to go up. And this is going to be black. You can colour it in with your black pencil crown when you're colouring. For well, now, I'm just going to cover it with my black pen. Alright. Our bird is done. We are going to do a lovely flower. So, and you can imagine that he's dipping his beak into a flower that has got some lovely sweet nectar at the bottom. We start with this sort of curvy angled line and we're going to turn these into petals. I want to go behind my beak, don't fall over his beak. I'm going to do one petal and another petal and they're really just um, sort of two drop shapes. I'm going to do that one coming around. Go behind his beak. Another one. And close off lastly. I can add the bottom of the flower. The curved line. And blending in from this line here, coming this side also. That's making a little bell shape of this flower. I'm going to extend this line here. It's going to come down so it's the petals are wrapping around. Now I can put a few little details of the petals coming up. Right, underneath the flower he's got a couple of little spikes and also just go behind a little cup that's attached to the stem. Let's do a nice curved line and we'll make that a double one when we put it on his stem. And let's add, there's a bit of space here still, let's add a leaf. So I'm going to add on a little triangle for the stem to the leaf. I want to draw a curved line which is the middle vein of the leaf and then I draw either side. Now you can't go wrong with these curved lines. You can make them curve any which way because there are so many different types of leaves and I add a few more veins. Right, I've got my bird drawn. 
Now a uh, there are many different types of hummingbird hummingbirds. This humming this hummingbird is mostly brown. He's got a bit of yellow and a bit of orange and he's got a bright red tail. So what we're going to do is I'm going to give a general colour everywhere, nice and light. And then we are going to look at his shading and how we can add the extra details to him so that he is really looking lifelike. So you can fast forward this part, pause or pause the video and do your own colouring in and then we will talk again in a minute. Alright boys and girls, we've coloured him in just for the general colouring. It's got to give me a nice base on which to do some shading. And I'm going to use that technique that we've been learning to gradate my pick my colours. So I'm going to want to give him some more shade in his in his body and particularly his wings, his tail and his face. I'm going to start with his wings and I'm going to leave this top feather sort of lightish that goes into this shape but from here these other ones I want to make them darker so and I want to gradate from dark and as I go out it's going to become lighter and dark at the base of the feather and then as it comes out it's going it's coming lighter give each feather its own attention that is going to give you the best results Remember, if you're struggling to push hard with your pencil crowns, give your pencil a little sharpen so that it's got a nice edge to, to get that depth of color. I'm going to sharpen mine a turn or two. Doesn't need a lot. There we go. I'm going to add a little bit here as well. This, this wing at the back, remember dark colors recede in our eye, and this wing is at the back. So I want it to be a lot darker all around so that it looks more 3D and that it is receding in my eye. Right, okay, let's do his body. I'm going to continue on. I'm going to shade across here where his wing attaches to his, his body. So you can see I've got a wider shading band here and thin at the top and my highlight is in the middle all right let's go to his tail and his tail is actually more red than orange i've given it a, red, a yeah, orange base color and i'm going to bring in that depth of color now the same way that i did with my wings but with red over the orange i want to let some of the orange shine through but at the end of the day i want them to really look like they are actually Red. I can also take my black and these feathers have a little black band on the edge. I'm just adding that little detail in. I'm just going to really show off that red as well. Okay, let's add a, give a bit more attention to his head. I'm going to use a bit of red again. I don't want to cover all of the orange. I want to add some, some tone, some shape. 
and let's deepen in that orange, that yellow. It's not orange, yellow. And I want to have a bit of a shadow under his under, under his neck here, so I'm going to use a little touch of brown to just shade in under his his neck here, so that I can see this, his shape in this yellow. There we go. All right, and what we didn't talk about was the beak, which is the blue beak. How oh, interesting! He has a blue beak. I'm going to use a little bit of black here just to bring out that midline. Maybe a little bit along the top, delicately. All right, our blue owl hummingbird is finished. Uh, we're going to color in his the flower now. I'm going to make it blue. I'm going to use light blue and dark blue. So I'm going to give a base color of light blue. And I'm going to work in with my dark blue afterwards for our tones. And then for my, my leaf and my, and my stem, I'm going to use light green and then work in again with my dark green. So we can, I'm going to fast forward this part and you can copy what's is happening. If you want to do a different color flower, maybe you want to use your pinks and reds or oranges, or yellows, whatever color you would like, then you can do that. Alright, boys and girls, there's our beautiful hummingbird taking a sip of nectar. A hummingbird, remember, does eat insects, but it needs that extra bit of sugar for the amount of energy that he needs to flap those wings so fast. Um, we have again practiced our technique of gradation and changing our colors from light to dark or using orange and red together or light blue and dark blue and our bird hope that you enjoy this video and I will see you again after the long weekend for another lovely video. Happy joy!